Hey everybody, welcome back, and this, I am your host, Joe J.D.F. Foster, and today's movie review is on the 2018 movie, Hex, and I only came, and I came across this movie on, the, uh, on one of the movie apps, and at first thought it was just going to be some normal throwaway B-rated type movie. Turned out to actually be pretty good. And with that in mind, let's kick into it. Like I said, this movie is from 2018, so it's more recent. And unlike a lot of films that have been coming out the last couple of years, in the last few years, and not being worth their time, this one is one of them that I've enjoyed a lot. And I actually enjoyed because of how it played. And again, despite the fact that I think it mislabeled the film with the way it did, overall, it's a good movie. And uh, it, it stars, let's move on to the cast, which features Jenny Boyd, as the character of Amber. Uh, many of you would know this actress from the Legacy, I mean, from the series Legacies, as Lizzie Saltzman. And it also stars Kelly Blatz as Ben Trapanier, uh for an episode of SWAT he was on. But he's mostly known for being on Fear of the Walking Dead as Brandon Luke. And one guest star listing on this is Ross McCall as um, Ben's best friend, playing the character of Isaac, which is Ben's best friend, who's played by Ross McCall. And Russ McCall is known for being on the TV show White Collar as the adversarial to as the adversarial Matthew Keller. Now I'm going to do the plot, so some of you might consider this spoiler, some of you won't. But I've tried to make sure I didn't give anything away. While traveling through Cambodia with his friend, with his best friend and his brother, Ben comes across Amber, and the two develop almost an instant relationship. But strange things start to happen around them, and it's all and it's traced to Amber. The question is: Is it something spiritual? medical, or something entirely else. As you watch the film, you will see this. As it goes... Okay, the film is listed as a horror and supernatural film. I disagree, personally. I think it's more of a romantic thriller, because while it does have moments, I mean, it has its romantic moments, it does more of a thriller section than the actual being scary or doing anything that falls under the horror movie genre. Now, I'll give it supernatural to it because when you watch it, you'll see. And actually, the supernatural aspects in this film are explored, but they don't go into great detail, which leaves the viewer to figure out whether they want to believe whether it's real, it's fake, or if it falls somewhere in between. Another good thing about, I mean, another thing about this, though it's not necessarily the greatest, it seems to show the ideals of Eastern and Western medicine and beliefs, such as in medicine, how to deal with epilepsy versus 
the ideas of possession and there's a number of moments in the film where it has me questioning one or more of the characters in it just because of how it plays and it does it really well in this sense. As a recommendation, I'd actually give this film a watch on more than the rare occasion. But I will tell you the rating that they give it Which is a which on the app is a TVMA. I have to admit it might be a little overboard, but at the same time, it's also fitting because this is definitely not one for children or little kids to see in any way, and even the teenage years might be a little too young for this. So. Yeah, I would go with adult or higher is actually a good idea for this movie. But overall, the film itself, story and movement-wise, is done well and it doesn't get you lost anywhere, in it, or at least it didn't for me. It's easy to follow and it comes back around to make sense. Now, as for my final grade on this film, I'm actually going to give it an A minus because this film was very good and it's a romantic thriller, but it did have a couple of spots in it that weren't great or seemed like they were thrown in. The more adult scene, the adult scenes in this, the way they were done seemed that they were unnecessary and therefore I have to hurt the grade on it for that. But again, 2018's Hex I highly recommend for you all to watch and leave your thoughts in the comments as well as what you think I should do for an upcoming video. And until next time.